Yo, what is going on guys, CryptoCutie coming at you guys again with another video, and guys, in this one, I'm going to be talking a little bit about the passive income that you are going to be able to hopefully earn with Bidow, um, and then just a few uh, few things, just kind of explaining Bidow real quick, um, running over some numbers for you guys, so let's get right into it guys, before this video starts, make sure you go ahead and hit like and subscribe, let's get right into it. So the ICO of Bido is still in progress. Some news concerning this crypto have come to light. Uh, Bido is a project which aims to launch a stable coin in some ways very similar to Dai, um, but based on Binance Chain instead of Ethereum. So interestingly enough, the partnership with Chainlink is actually going to allow it um, to not just limit itself to using the BNB currency as collateral, but also uh, other currencies. So we got. Uh, this will allow the use of data related to Bitcoin USD pairs, ETH USD, and Link USD uh, from the very beginning, so that Bitcoin, Ether, and Link can be used as collateral. In addition to BNB, so this of course kind of sets it apart from the other stable coins. Uh, Bidow's goal is to equip DeFi tools with a new stable coin based on the Binance Chain network, which uses proof of stake instead of proof of work, as Ethereum and Bitcoin do today. Um, of course. Proof of work is what these do today, not proof of stake. So yeah, guys, this is what kind of what I want to talk about, the proof of stake. Um, we basically are going to be earning a 30% rate of reward. If you come over here right now, if you guys can see already, staking power is 30%. Um, but then also, as you can see here, staking power drops to 3% after the ICO. So the ICO is coming out, I believe, November 30th. Um, so after that, when it gets launched onto the exchange, you'll be earning a 3% uh, staking reward at, after the ICO is launched. So let's just say right now, I guess that we can we can look at mine real quick. Um, let's see, I believe I have 21,000 coins. Uh, so if we want to do some math, 21,000, I'm probably, or hopefully by the end of... The ICO going to have around like 25, 26,000, I believe, is what I got um, when I calculated it earlier because I am earning 30%. Um, and then hopefully from then on, we'll have 25,000. But guys, keep in mind that when you're staking, it's not like, okay, you have 25,000 coins, you're going to earn 3%, um, and that's the end of it. No, it's you're earning that 3% like very um, frequently, you know, if, if that makes sense. Uh, so even though it's 3% total on the year, you're going to be earning like a small fraction of that 3% every single day, which ends up being compounded. So by the end of the year, you're going to earn a lot more than 3%. So that's why it's important, you guys. Uh, this is not financial advice, but if that's something you guys are looking into, it's it's better, much, much better to get into it now when you can get in uh, and buy a ton of buy-down for cheap stake at 30%, and then once the 3% comes along, you have a lot more buy down to stake and hold, and then you can basically end up getting more buy down just for holding buy down. Uh, so yeah, it's basically just explaining the staking reward. I also just kind of wanted to finish this article up. So the way it will not, this way it will not only uh, be possible to borrow or lend buy, but also to stake its governance token bid. So this is the, of course the one that we are invested in and receive passive income. Furthermore, Bidow's goal in the future would also consist in becoming a DeFi agnostic application with respect to blockchain in use. Um, example, integrating also other blockchains in addition to Binance Chain. Uh, this will be easier thanks to the integration with Chainlink, so this is obviously a pretty big partnership. Uh, at present, they are very active, especially on YouTube, to promote the initiative, or to have it promoted via prominent crypto YouTubers, not such as myself, but such as Ivan on Tech, so much so that they have organized and promoted a giveaway of their official channel through the CEO, Bastian Aigner. This project is often presented as a direct rival of DAI, potentially better, with the almost explicit intention to replace MakerDAO and become the main protagonist of the DeFi world. The ambition doesn't really seem justified to date as BAI hasn't even been launched on the mainnet yet, and when promises made solely of words contrast with existing leading realities which consist of actual tools that work properly with the aim of undermining them even before having produced something solid and working, that ambition starts to seem vain. Promoting Vidao as a leading project in the DeFi world is an obvious stretch, revealing a strategy based above on all communication and marketing. The strategy may not be enough to undermine MakerDAO in its undisputed and real leadership role in this sector. Uh, so, so this is not the most positive article, I guess, but uh, you can definitely learn a few things from reading this one. Um, it's interesting that they're saying it might not uh, be enough to undermine MakerDAO, as I don't think MakerDAO is very strong. 
Um, and although it's the main protagonist of the D5 world, I mean, yeah, it's just because it's been around the longest. Um, but I don't think it would be too hard for Baidu, given all its partnerships and its ability to use other cryptos as uh, collateral. I think that just kind of gives it a, a unique advantage um, over MakerDAO and some of the other ones. Uh, so yeah, I guess we're going to have to wait and see how this plays out, but I hope this, this video gave you guys value in terms of what you can look for in staking, and then also just kind of clearing up what Baidu is. But yeah, it's basically going to for this one, guys. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.